Seaside, Florida, the 30A. Finally at the beach and the weather is perfect. But there have been reports of flesh-eating bacteria at the Emerald Coast. Water's pretty. I'm afraid to get in it. We figured just to take in the sun, but I slathered liquid bandage over every cut or scrape I could find on my body. I wondered if these crowds had taken any such precautions. The water looks mighty inviting, possibly as deadly as the sirens. The Gulf of Mexico has the most beautiful beaches in the U.S. The Emerald Coast also has stunning sunsets on the regular. As the evening came and the sun began to set, I decided to push my luck. When you can't really swim, there are other things to do here. Like Grayton Beach, there are trails. These trails weave through dramatic and beautiful sand dunes just off the beach. Here is a quick slideshow as my camera got on the wrong setting, but the scenes are too awesome not to share. With the proper tweaking, we had footage again. A narrow path cuts through the bramble. And eventually opens up. Maybe a little too open. You know, in my travels around, going various places, and getting out and walking, I have had more near misses with lightning storms. It looked pretty wicked out there, and the beach is not where you want to spend a lightning storm. The wind's picking up. Yeah, it be. Oh, he gets pretty close. I love this sand. Could be that everybody's smarter than us. Stacy was not deterred. She brought up the radar while I nervously scanned the skies. The sky over the sea looked angry. There's wind coming up and there's water as you can see. Here's the radar. The radar looked like maybe it would just brush nearby and it wasn't red, which was good. Hmm. Blue dot is where we are, do you see it? Yeah, looks like it's green and yellow. Not too bad. The sand dunes were amazing yeah, against that dark bad. gray. But like, it says lightning on the little picture. Oh, does cloud. it? Yeah. Crab holes. Can you see a crab in there? No crab. The flowers were a photographer's dream. On we pressed. Everywhere in places like this you'll see, do not walk on the dunes. Is. 
Pretty much everything out here is a photographer's dream. Everything a work of art. It's a workout. Beautiful, but you have to put effort into hiking on this sand. You can see the 30A over there. There are potential calendar pages everywhere. We have returned to the car because there is a uh, storm coming in that may have lightning. And we're going to see if we can wait, wait it out. Honestly, I can't remember if it stormed or not. But here we are again to finish our trek. The going is easier here in the woods, the floor covered with straw and whatever else. There may not be a huge wow factor of filming hiking, but I'd recommend this to anyone. It's a really refreshing way to spend a day. The air is beachy mixed with a fragrance of vegetation and today there is a stormy dampness in the air. Along the trail there are waysides occasionally with educational tidbits like who knew this? You never know that just over the hill is the crashing surf of the gulf. The trail leads to a beachside lake. Okay. I like this trail. It's fun. It's not really hilly. It's shaded. It's not crowded. It's Monday and it's raining, so I don't know if that's why. Um, it is also a bike trail, but we haven't seen anybody on a mountain bike or anybody else hiking. We thought we found another section of the trail that I still believe exists to this day. We did not. Back at the rest station, we thought we'd check out the actual beach. wild wind blew. The sky was intense, the sea fairly rough.
I've always been fascinated by life just under the surf, right where the sea meets the land. There is life here in this agitated blur between the sand and the deeper water that I think most people miss. Small and young fish take refuge here from predators and find food washed up from deeper areas, pushed up with the surf. It's a shallow, clear, and beautiful world, this 10 inches of constantly agitated water. On the other side of the 30A from Grayton Beach is another trail. This seems more coastal forest than beach trail. There's a lot of pine and low-growing vegetation. I don't know if this is natural or the effects of man's activities, but it's pretty and pleasant. There are many different types of plants here, some notated on wayside boards, like this sand live oak. Look at this. Yes, I do. What do we have over here? There is the potential for seeing all manner of wildlife out here. The Florida sun gets pretty hot, so always hydrate. It's like an old road going over that way.
thing about these woods is you never know what they were used for a long time ago. That could have been an old road. There could have been old houses out here. The sidestep adventurer in me is never far below the surface. So the moss I shot earlier is deer moss. Lichens growing on the ground called deer moss. They thrive in dry sandy soils. A lichen is a unique combination of two life forms, an algae and fungus. They cannot live without each other. The algae processes food through photosynthesis while the fungus provides structure and absorbs nutrients from the soil. Lichens grow very slowly, often less than a millimeter per year. Some species are thought to be among the oldest living things on earth. Ooh. Yeah, they evolved into penguins. <laughs> Yes. No. Look out there. I've spent so much time on the beach on trips here, I've never paid enough attention to the beauty of Florida's wild environment. It's gorgeous. Saw palmettos. They do look like they have saws on the tip. Okay. Yeah. Talons. Now we come to the beach for a long time. I've never taken the time to really come out and nature hike. And this is like so close to civilization. I'm sure in here you can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, you'd never know that there's a major road and a seaside village nearby. Like a major tourist attraction. Yeah, for the viewers, everything that we've shot, uh, the, the other trail you saw, the cars going back and forth, but this one you can't see anything, it's just wilderness, but yeah, all of this stuff is like right next to major tourist uh, beach areas. Beach happenings. Yeah, beach happenings. We walk for about 45 minutes, but the trail goes on, if I remember correctly, about nine miles. So there is much to do if the water is questionable. Either way, check out the trails of Florida if you get the chance.